Hey, what's going on? We're gonna talk about nine tips to hack your next 60 yard dash in this video. And it's very important to 60 yard dash because you know, running a 6.9 versus a 7.1 could be the difference in you getting a college scholarship. So two tenths of a second is a huge deal. And if I can show you a few tips on how to hack it to where you can lower your time, that's gonna be very beneficial to you. So pay close attention to these nine tips to hack your next 60 yard dash. But before we get into the video, I wanna say thank you to Victory for sponsoring this video. Victory is a custom performance insole designed to return the energy an athlete generates as explosive power. Put simply, this will make you run faster, jump higher, and be an overall better performer on the field. Worn by over 150 pros who shaved off a tenth of a second on their 60s and added 1.6 inches to their verts. You can try the Victory Insoles 2 risk-free for 30 days at the link below. All right, so the first tip is to be fully warmed up. And I know this one's like, yeah, duh, coach. But let me tell you something. I've seen so many guys when they take off and start running that you can tell they're not fully warmed up. Yeah, they might have went through a few stretches. They might have jogged a little bit. But that's not being fully warmed up. I want your body temperature being fully warm. You should be sweating. You should be very hot, okay? You should be full speed, almost like you, you're ready to play a full court basketball game or whatever it is. That's how hot you should be before you run your first 60 yard dash, okay? So just doing a couple jogs and a couple of these isn't gonna get you warm, okay? So make sure that you are fully warm before you run your, your first 60 yard dash because if you run it and you're not fully warm and you, you run it two tenths of a second slower, I'm sorry, but sometimes you only get one chance at these showcases, so you gotta be fully warm. Tip number two, and this one probably makes a lot of sense too, it's not rocket science, is get a good jump, right? Of course you wanna get a good jump, but what I see a lot of guys uh, doing is they're more worried about their full speed, their top speed, their how fast they can be when they get full speed, but the start is the most important. I see so many guys, when they first take off, they're just like starting slow, and then they try to build it up as they go. Be explosive, get out of the box right away, okay? The quicker you can start, listen, everyone's full speed is one speed, right? You're not gonna get faster just by watching this video. But what you can do is have the mindset to have a better start and be more explosive out of the box. So this right here is something that you can implement right away and work on to have a faster 60. So work on that. Get to full speed quicker because if you get to your full speed quicker, you're gonna have a faster time. So make sure that you get a good start. That brings me to tip number three, get to top speed as quick as you can, right? You have, after you get that good start, get to top speed as quick as you can, right? You don't wanna build up to top speed. You wanna get there as fast as you can. Try to get to your top speed in the first 10 steps or before, right? Get to full speed as fast as you can because once you get to that full speed, I don't know about you guys, but once I get to that full speed, it's almost like you're coasting. There's not a whole lot of energy put into it once you get to that, but you have to exert yourself and get to that top speed as fast as you can. I see too many guys like almost like striding out to get to full speed. Yeah, that, that might be great. You might've went to a speed coach who taught you, use your arms, pump and build up slow over time, but no, the guys who run fast, run fast. They start fast, they go fast, they just do everything fast. Be fast, stop trying to be so technical. You have, you know, work on the technique when you can, but get to full speed as fast as you can, okay? The fourth hack to run a faster 60 yard dash is to see the finish line before you start and run straight because what I see so many guys doing is when they start off, they're looking here, you know, they're looking to the side, they're taking a deep breath, they get set, and then they take off. They never even see the finish line, and when they start, they put their head down, they're running. Next thing you know, they're halfway there. They look up and they go, oh shoot, I gotta turn this way. And of course your time is gonna be slower if you do that, even if it's just a little bit off, right? I've seen guys taking totally wrong routes, like their GPS was way off to get to the finish line. But even if you take a slightly off route, you're gonna slow your time down. The quickest time from point A to point B is in a straight line. So make sure that when you get set up, you see your finish line before you start take a deep breath, go, and stay on that straight path all the way through. Which brings me to hack number five for a faster 60 yard dash is to finish through the line. Don't run a 60 yard dash, run a 65 yard dash. I see so many guys, they get there and in the last few steps they kind of coast and slow down and drift through the finish line. Why would you do that? You just busted your butt to get there, run all the way through. Run a 65 yard dash. Think about the finish line being five yards past that and run as fast as you can through that. Usually you'll have plenty of uh, space to slow down behind the finish line, so take advantage of it. Go as fast as you can through that finish line so you can get the best speed that you can on your 60 yard dash. Hack number six, and this is for when you're running a 60 when coaches are timing you on the stopwatch with their hand, okay? 
what I want you to do, and this is a great hack, is to jump, get the first jump, okay? Usually what coaches will do is you'll have two guys running at the same time and a guy maybe 15, 20 yards in front of you with a hat, dropping the hat like this. But the coaches, the scouts, are to start the time when you first take your movement and stop the time when you finish through the line. So they're not going off the guy with the hat. They're looking at you. So one tip that I have for you guys is don't even wor worry about the guy with the hat. You go on you, but be first to go because sometimes you can catch that, ca that scout or that coach off guard and get a you know, tenth of a second on his thumb, right? So if you're getting here, you get set, don't even work, worry about that hat guy, boom, take off, boom, you might get a tenth of a second on the jump, finish through that line, that's a great hack anytime you're getting hand timed by a coach or a scout. Hack number seven for the 60 yard dash, and this is if you're running a 60 yard dash on the lasers, right? For the lasers, you want to start as far back as the scout lets you, okay? Now, when I'm running lasers, I'll, I'll tell my guys to scoot up, scoot up, scoot up to, to where they're in a good spot where I want them to be so everyone's having a fair advantage. But I've seen sometimes in showcases, different showcases where there'll be lasers and I'll see a guy, one guy start here and another guy start back here. So if they're letting you get a little bit further back, even if it's a few inches, even if it's a foot or so, start back because you're going to get a full step before that that timer starts you and you're already at a faster speed than if you were to start right up against those lasers, okay? So whenever you're running off of the lasers, get as much back as the coach or the scout or whoever's running the lasers will let you uh, and take advantage of that. Hack number eight, and this one's overlooked, and sometimes you can't do this because it goes in number order, whatever it is, but if you're running two guys at a time and you're able to choose your partner, choose somebody fast because if you're running with somebody fast, it's gonna push you to be faster. If you're running with someone slow and you're burning him and he's behind you, you're not really being pushed. You know, I've ran with someone fast before and I've ran with someone slow before and I definitely prefer running with someone fast next to me because it kind of motivates me and gets me going quicker. So if you can, always choose to run with someone fast, faster than you preferably, so you're playing catch up and you're busting your butt to try to finish that 60 before them. And the last tip, the last hack to run a faster 60 yard dash is try those victory insoles, man. I, I did a video before a review of them and it's crazy. You put them on and you feel a little pep in your step, man. So try them out. They have a risk free. I'll leave the link down below, of course. Um, but they're a great thing and, and you know, there's no rules against them. So if it can help you get a, a tenth or two tenths of a second on your 60 yard dash, why wouldn't you take that advantage? Check them out, I'll leave the link down below. I hope you guys like this, uh, you know, hacks, these hacks to run a faster 60 yard dash. Because again, the 60 yard dash is a very important thing for some of you older players who are looking to play in college and professional baseball. A tenth of a second, two tenths of a second could make a huge difference uh, in, you know, what kind of offers you end up getting. So. Take this to heart, take these tips, these hacks to heart, and uh, go out there and crush your next 60 yard dash. If you guys like this video, hop down in the comments, let me know, tell me what you're working on, trying to get faster with. Uh, if you've got any questions, I'll hop down there, try to answer if I can. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button now with the bell so you don't miss any more tips when I put them out over time. Thanks guys, talk to you soon.